Grease turns 40. How the stars of the movie really felt about the musical updated June 16, 2018. Grease, Liv has us super excited for Sunday night, but we're still hopelessly devoted to the cast of the 1978 original. As we gear up for the reboot, airing at 7 p.m. ET on Fox, hop in your Ford Deluxe and take a ride down memory lane with some of the film's original stars, who still have lots of love for the film that made them famous. On where Sandy and Danny are today it's interesting to think of the many different ways they could have gone. I think they're kind of stuck in time, I kind of think of them as that was then, they're forever and so like that. To today on playing Sandy, to Julian Huff I think Julianne is fine. I love her. She's beautiful and she's talented and she'll do a great job. She doesn't need any tips from me. She has her own energy and I think that that's what I said to her. Bring yourself to it. There's no reason to try and copy anyone else. You've got your own style so do it in a new way. To billboard on how Greece changed her life gosh, she gave me the opportunity to change. I was kind of thought of as the girl next door, country music and all that stuff. Being able to play another role gave me the courage to branch out more and do more rock stuff, which was not what I was known for. It gave me the courage to grow and do different things. To billboard on why people still love Grease Gosh, I wish I did know. There's an energy and a timelessness to the music. It's magical. There's something about the boy meets girl of the whole story. Everyone knows a character like that. People love the 50s too. To billboard on why Grease is still relevant Grease is part of American culture. It's timeless, classic. In 2002 on his favorite moment I think that last number is truly Americana. It embodies every classic feeling about America. In 2002 on being a lifelong fan it's one that I grew up having very close to my heart, because I always wanted to do the movie. To GQ India on why it's still relevant it seems like the only movie in history that people see it, they view it, and it's like it was filmed yesterday. It's more than a classic, it's timeless. To GQ India on fond memories of filming I got to sing and dance every day. It was glorious. To GQ India on cast bonding because we were all a little bit older than the characters we were playing, we decided that once we got our makeup on, we'd call each other by our characters' names. So it was an ongoing improv all day long, which gave us the license to go back in time and be the teenagers. In 2012 on what Greece is really about Greece is about firsts. First love. First car. First career disappointment, for me. So that kind of energy of firsts is what excites people over and over again. It's honest. In 2012 on Rizzo's famous song, There Are Worst Things I Could Do When the Movie Was Being Cut Together, producer, Alan Carr really wanted to cut it because he thought it was a downer, maybe everyone else thought it was a downer too. It was because so much about what that character was. It got in there by the skin of its teeth. Choreographer, Pat Birch fought for it and the director as well. It's in there and I'm so grateful that it is. To BroadwayWorld.com